Two down, two to go. Literally just stepping off the platform from the end of the last episode. Uh, so here's how this episode's going to go with my blind Nuzlocke. I'm pretty much going to have to rebuild by using the rest of my encounters. And I got to go heal. So that's actually, that was, uh, that was really cool. I like this. But I, uh, I need to heal, so that's the first thing. And then I will meet you guys over in whatever... I guess I'll leave the girl that I saw at the start, whatever her name was. I think it was like... It's, I think it started with an L. Um, I, I gotta see what biome she's in. Actually, let's just check right now. So she's not there. So Drayton, huh? I'll leave her for last. So what is her name again? Lacey. It was Lacey. I thought it might be Lacey. Um, and then Drayton. So... I'm thinking, oh, his league rank is two, actually. So wait, hers is number one, I'm assuming? Three. Who was this? Did I just take out number one, then? All right, well, hey, if, if it's anything, if it means anything, uh, then I actually am doing pretty well because I've already got number four, who was probably Crispin, I would imagine. Hopefully Crispin was number one, but no, this, this girl had to be number one. Uh, Amaris was probably number one. So I'll see you over there. I'm going to go to Drayton's biome grab a few more encounters there's a good chance i'm going to take my fourth encounters in this episode as well battle trainers and i will decide if i do the elite four in this episode yeah i, I guess that's what this is gonna be i'll see you at the elite member all right onwards all right here's how i think this is gonna go dude you wouldn't know but i was just on the phone for 20 minutes long story short actually not even gonna tell the story so I was I, I booked a, a rental for something for some cool power sports equipment and 20 minutes later I'm back. So here's what I'm gonna do. I have crawled through the cave to get to my next encounter. Closing my eyes, weaving back and forth the first Pokemon I run into, that's my first encounter. Here we go. Alright. You guys will see me weaving back and forth and you will not be able to tell what I'm doing, but Hey, got one. Hey, Cub Chew. Hey, look at this, guys. Cub Chew. I'm a okay with this. This is an excellent Pokemon. You. I see you back there. So that's why. No, that's not why she used it. I don't know why she used uh, Runiclus, but I was still mad that she did that. <laughs> All right. So Cub Chew. It turns out you're the encounter. So um, what I'm gonna do is let's just chuck Pokeballs at it. So I've been I've been messing with my moves a lot when I go into these elite battles. I'm just gonna leave leave my moves alone. Oh, I thought I was gonna get that easily. I'm gonna leave my moves alone, and I'm seeing a lot of Pokemon. It's like all the elite trainers. Like uh, I saw the elite trainers all using these Pokemon that are all standing around watching this battle right now. Like Chinchino back there. Back there. That was that one elite trainer that had Whimsicott too. So it's like they are definitely using Pokemon that are in the biomes. But I also enjoy that it, they're not using their own biome Pokemon. Critical catch, you're mine, Cub Chew. And Beardick is coming, guys. All right, Cub Chew, you're going to be my savior. This is, I, this is very necessary. Oh, that's right. Um, so Crab Rawler's on the team, by the way. I forgot I should probably address that because Crab Rawler is a legal encounter. Uh, voted on by you guys. I've always wanted to use this name. Palangri, you're on the team. You will be a strong, powerful savior of this team level, Beartick. All right, so that was one encounter. Um, the next encounter I want to get, let's go. I keep trying this, and we're going to try it again. Um, no, not a terror raid battle. I meant to pick up the item, the citrus berry. Here's what I'm going to do, and like I say, I keep trying this. Gen 9, the first Pokemon I see that is exclusive to Gen 9. If I don't find any, I see a bunch of trainers. If I don't see anything that is exclusive to Gen 9, I'm rolling it back to Gen 8. So for now, anyways, uh, I will meet you at the first encounter I find. All right, so it turns out this is becoming more of a pain than I thought. So, <laughs> fun fact for you guys, there are no Gen 9 Pokemon here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fly straight ahead. I'm literally going to close my eyes, go straight ahead. The first Pokemon that I run into, I don't care what it is. That's the encounter. Here we go. Jump, fly, eyes closed. Straight line. You guys are going to hear the sound of my voice as I sit here in a perfectly straight line. Eyes are closed. I am listening only to the sound until I hear a Pokemon engage combat with me. At that point, that will be the encounter. 
you guys can see how this is going. I don't know if I'm going to get to the Elite Four member Drayton or not, honestly, because I, I have Pokemon. I think I'm going to go to the other biome, catch a few more Pokemon, and then I've got trainers to go. So, honestly, I'm not really sure if I'm even going to get to it. I wanted to do one trainer per episode, but I also don't really want to, like... I don't want the episode to be an hour long, and you guys know what I mean? It's like... Yeah, I don't want you guys having to skip through and skip through and skip through. it. That's that's not my goal. My goal is not to make you guys have to sit there and skip. I'm sure not hearing anything. Five, four, three, two, one. Eyes open. I'm going to rock. Turn left. Turn. Not you, Cup Chew. I already have a Cup Chew. Straight ahead. Eyes closed. And same thing. Just going straight. Whatever happens, happens. Hopefully I get an encounter here soon because this is frustrating. I got an encounter, but it's a bear tick. And as you guys know, I already have a bear tick. I just caught a bear tick. It was level 70 bear tick. That'd be sweet. But I have a cub too. So duplicate claws says I can't have you. Um, I'm going to... I guess I'm going to go in the water and go towards the wall. Eyes closed. Here it goes. If this isn't difficult, I don't know what is, man. I'm going to swim that way. I didn't want to grab a, a water. You know what? Actually, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a chance to get ice in there, too. I'm going to go straight that way over and hit land. Eyes closed. Here we go. Let me just jump to make sure I get in the water. I had, a, I had to answer another phone call. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm getting a Drayton on this one. All right, not you, Lapras. I already had a Lapras. Eyes closed. Here we go. You guys would be surprised at how difficult this has been. I don't know why, but it is so frustrating. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. Get an encounter. And I keep trying, and I keep trying, and it just doesn't happen. All right, still not hearing anything, guys. Still not hearing anything. All right, I'm going to close my eyes in... I'm going to open my eyes in... All right, got a Pokemon. It's uh, how did I end up here? It's a horsey. Horsey, it looks like you're the last encounter in this. Well, no, you're not the last. You know what? Yeah, I said I would have loved a, is that an overquill? No, that's a quillfish. Sorry, for a second I thought that was an overquill. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go a few more encounters in each area. I'm definitely not. Oh, yeah, I, did I ever stock up on dive balls after I used the last one? I don't think I did. But that's all right. You know, the great balls of fire. I feel good about this one. Great Balls of Fire. Horsey is just a little guy, but you're going to save everything. I've got King's Rocks ready for you. You're going to be a king of the sea. There we go. Horsey. I dig it, man. This is going to work. This is going to be all right. I'm going to rebuild one step at a time. I love Crab Rollers getting so much experience. <laughs> all right. Horsey, the dragon Pokemon, who is not dragon type and can't be dragon type until its final evolution. That's fine. Here we go. You shall henceforth be known as Leviasi, and you will go into the box, and I will get you when, uh, when I get a chance. I'm going to do a few battles and hopefully not have any disasters in the process. Um, but in the meantime, to do those battles, I'm going to need to take some time to prep the Pokemon that are now low level that need to be trained up in this Nuzlocke. So let me let me figure out what I'm doing here. So obviously there are battles and there are league trainers. All right. Um, you know what? Before I make any decisions, let me go claim my other encounters. So I'm going to the other biomes and I'm going to claim a few encounters. I originally said I'm going to do this Nuzlocke with four encounters in each biome. And that was still my plan. So let's do this. Let's try to see where the team is at without touching this biome, I should say. The final biome, let's, with the coastal biome on the, on the fritz here, let's go ahead and go back to the canyon biome and get another encounter here. All right, this seems like a good spot right here. So this is the fourth encounter in this biome. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump over the river, close my eyes, and weave. So as I'm weaving, you guys will hear me. So I figure this is probably a decent way to get Pokemon because it, with, uh, with all the Pokemon that were around earlier in that, uh, in that area, I figure there's a wide variety. So at this point, got one, and it is... Uh, I mean, it's uh, obviously Swablu is not a bad encounter. It's just 
How do I feel about Swablu considering... Ah, Swablu, I think you'll be fine, all right? Yeah, I could have a strong Altaria. Yeah, I think you should be okay. Um, let's go ahead and catch you. Altaria, I, I can make use of you for sure. Especially when I'm going up against a Dragon-type trainer. I think I'll be all right. So, but... Uh, Ooh, Parish Song on me. I mean, hey, signature song or signature move, huh? Three turns. I have three turns. I've got to catch this thing. Three turns until the end. <laughs> All right. Well, that's fine. I, I feel like you're a Swablu. I just need to chuck three balls at you, and I don't have to worry about a thing. There we go. I only needed one, man. I only needed one. All right. So that's one here, and then I'll do one at the Savannah, and I guess one more since I'm now officially saying that I'm getting my fourth encounter. I'll do one more in the ice biome as well. All right, Swablu. I'll name you Moria. Moria. Out you go into the box, and one more. I will meet you over at the Savannah, and then I will get one more encounter over here in the ice biome, and I will do trainers. So I will catch you in the Savannah biome. All right, one more encounter out here. Arceus, give me a uh, give me a flygon. I would really appreciate a flygon. I'm gonna head towards the wall. Eyes closed. Here we go. And left and right and left and right. Actually, I think I need to weave a little more than I'm doing because this isn't enough. Probably right about here. Hmm. Not hearing anything yet. All right, I guess I'm going to have to do the countdown here. Five, four, three, two, one. And I look up, and I, okay, I'm still, I'm still good. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I guess, I, I don't know where I flew off of, but uh, let's go with Rhydon. You're the only Pokemon around here that's that works because... I've already had a Magmar, so Rhydon is the encounter. <laughs> By default, I'm just going to go with that at this point. Um, so I'm going to drop a Mystical Fire on you and weaken you a little bit. You, I can't just chuck balls at easily and, and expect to catch you in two seconds. In fact, I need to be a little careful about you just because of stuff like that. So the good news is with wild Pokemon, or I should say Pokemon in general, I have allotted myself a single healing item. I can have one healing item in those battles, so... I'm going to use that healing item now. I'm going to drop another Mystical Fire, catch a Rhydon, and that will be a solid encounter. Yikes. That will be a solid encounter for this area. Rhydon, I hope I'm not marching you to your death because you are very important right now. I needed somebody that's got some guts, you know? I needed somebody that could could uh, lift the team a little bit here. Ooh, crits. You're dropping crits on me. All right, let's, uh, let's drop my Duraludon on you. Out of curiosity, you don't have any rock moves, do you? I mean, I know you're a Rhydon, but yeah, you'll be fine. Stone Edge. Ow. All right, we're good. Ultra Ball. Rhydon. Rhydon, Rhydon. Here we go. All right, one more encounter in the Polar Biome, and then that'll do it. All right, let's name you. Dude, this is good. This is good. I definitely I am happy to have a Rhydon for sure. Like I say... Rhyperior is going to be a beast. I can't have a Rhyperior. As the other representative of horns in Gen 1, while I normally name Nidoking King of Kings, I shall name you Baron, and you shall guard your king and represent your king in this Nuzlocke. Rhydon is on the team, man. This is going to be a beast. The only problem is I can't have a Rhyperior, but hey, Rhyperior wasn't even around for four generations, three generations, I should say. All right. One more encounter, guys. I will be right back. I'm going to go finish this last encounter. Um, and I guess I'm going to go right into battles. I'll just use candies, train up some Pokemon, and battle. Here we go. All right, how about this? Let's do it this way. No me right on, just running straight ahead. The first Pokemon I see on my screen, man, the first one, that is the encounter. No water. It's a Porygon. Porygon, you are the encounter. Congratulations. <laughs> you win by default. Porygon's download attack is up. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely solid with a Porygon, man. This will be all right. Let's, uh, let's go Aqua Jet and just do a little damage to you. There we go. Just a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah. 
I'm going to lower you again. I am level 83, so a zap cannon shouldn't kill me, even if you land that somehow. Oh, you're going to use double edge. Hang on. He's in his reds, man. There's no way. If he lands a zap cannon now, I would be... Well, okay. Maybe I'm being a little reckless here. You know what? Yeah. Stay in the ball, because if he lands a zap cannon... Okay, that was stupid. I should not have done that. If he had broken out of that ball, landed a zap cannon, I probably would have died. <laughs> that was... That was a needless risk, so my bad. All right, Porygon, you're up. Soldier, you're going to the PC. If you know, you know. All right, let me let me check out what what I have available to me. Deerling is evolving, evolving Atreus. I did not realize that you were at that level now. They grow up so quickly. Actually, he just had to get one level. That was it. All right, look at that. Saw's buck. Remember the last time I tried to explain a fun fact about Sawsbuck, and then you know what happened. <laughs> if you don't know, I was like, hey, do you want to hear a fun a fun fact about Sawsbuck? And I ran into a shiny suit of Wudo right as that happened. All right, I'll catch you at the trainer. Is this Polar? Well, here we are. I got the team already. You guys can check the overlay for that. And I know this is called the Polar Biome, but what does Polar mean anyways? Are, are, you, are you dumb? Like... Are these non-league? Eve the student. Are, if you're not in the league club, does that mean you're kind of dumb as is? You can look up uh, Duo Scion and Quillfish. You, you can look up the definition of polar anytime you want, but you're about to die. Two Pokemon. I overlevel you or I outlevel you. Earthquake dropped by Rhydon. And by the way, I love that uh, I have said this through Legends Arceus enough, but a thousand percent. I love that. Quillfish deserve to get that evolution and that form. So, Paldea and Quillfish, I love it. Alright, I was going to say, let's hit him and paralyze him. Just in case he lives this. This earthquake, by the way, I have soft sand on this thing, so it's going to hurt. It's going to destroy Quillfish. And double kill. <laughs> Do Critical hit? Well, okay, well, I, yeah, I mean, you were the one that technically could have dropped, like, energy ball on me or razor leaf or whatever grass move you might have had so you know what you're uh, you're the cheap knockoff gen 5 bell awesome or uh, a rather vile plume i'm just kidding although since gen 5 really was modeled to be like a soft reboot of gen 1 that is what uh what uh, runaclus and duo scion they're uh, they're kind of basically the vile plume of gen 5 onwards to the next trainer you know what the one thing that has bothered me too about I'm stuffed about the Pokemon anime. Actually, I'm kind of stuffed too. I just ran into the kitchen and had some food. Urk, I ate enough to burst. I guess a Pokemon battle after after eating is a good way to aid digestion. Probably not, but let's do this. It's always going to bother me how the only time Ash in the anime ever battled Giovanni was in Gen 5. And he lost to Giovanni 1v1 Pikachu versus Persian. And it was like... It was two moves. The battle was literally two moves. A single power gem took him out. All right, so neither of you guys can have the ability Earthquake, so that sucks to be you. And in the meantime, Dragon Breath, let's go. Let's, yeah, let's go it on the Porygon. I outspeed everything, so at least, uh, at least I got that. Trailblaze, actually, okay, maybe I should have done it on the Matang. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the only thing. I, Ash's anime sequence. Ooh. I was going to say, that's, ooh, that, yeah, that does more than I want it to. That was a crit. Yikes. A crit super effective. Um, Ash's, Ash's arc was amazing. It ended on a very, very good note. Ooh, I thought I was going to take both of you out, man. Look at this. But, uh, yeah, Ash and Giovanni. That's going to be a gripe that I'm going to have for a very long time. Let's see here. So I want to switch to somebody that's going to be just fine. Polangri, you're going to do this. And then go Moonblast. Make sure you take this thing out. You outspeed him, so destroy him. Palangri is good, man. That's a solid name right there, Palangri. I got to find more trainers. But uh, that and... Uh, it's So to full disclosure, this is a night recording, actually. But I wonder, do I want some coffee? Some late night coffee? Well, it's not super late night. It's not even close to late night. Erp. Hey, oh, gross! You you're spitting up on yourself. That's that's net. Did, did you? Hey, you 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 good? You cleaning yourself up? Everyone's favorite meal at the cafeteria has got to be the Academy Special. Yeah, I know. It's it's the Academy Special. It's called Free Shinies. All right, I'm on to the next trainer. 
So check it out. I found Drayton's place, but not heading there quite yet because I've got trainers, man. Number Trainer number three. Can't stop it. All right, no one can stop me. I'm on a total roll. Uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm going to disappoint you. Soren the student. Actually, you know, Soren's a pretty cool name. I, I, I'll give you that. I dig it. Typhon and Moria. Here we go. So it's weird. I still, every now and then, I get this feeling. I'm like, how? why do you have a Rotom? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. Rotom's not really super rare anymore. Rotom's extremely common, in fact. So I'm going to use Draco Meteor on Rotom. No, I'm not. You know what? Yeah, I am. I'm going to try and take out. He's a base Rotom. If this guy was any good, he would have used Rotom's forms. He didn't. So I'm going to try to knock him down. Um, let's go Golurk. Golurk. Yeah, I'm going to have to swap out. Let's uh, let's go. Let's go Palangri. Swap him out. All right. Try to take out this Rotom in a single hit. I'll climb down the mountain. That this is three trainers. I feel like I will. I will. I don't know if this is going to get highlighted or not. I mean, he's got a Golurk and a Rotom, so I mean, even if he goes down quickly, it is kind of a cool battle. But uh, we'll see if I even keep this in the recording. Ice Punch predicted. You suck. All right, let's go. Draco Meteor on Noops. I mean, it doesn't matter, but Draco Meteor on you as well, and then Icicle Crash to finish you off. Or did I mean I should say icicle crash to finish you off from the start. Ah, you you made it. You lived. Go lurk. All right, you're alive. You're not dead yet. Later. All right. Well, this guy was easy, but I'm probably I don't know. I feel like that was just a fun little battle that I can keep in, anyways. So sorry, Soren. Whoa, you rolled right over me. Yeah, goodbye, Soren. Yeah, this is uh I don't know. I I hope this is a good format. Just cutting battle to battle to battle like this. I mean I. I'm not really exploring much other than the the area, so I don't know if that's that's not really something I can overly explore. At least Teal Mask I could, but here, oh no 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 hell no. Okay, so yeah, he's uh, he's a league trainer. I'm not. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm healing. I've given myself permission to heal because that was three trainers, and I haven't healed the entire time. So uh, give me one sec. Good morning. So, here's the long story made short is I decided, you know what, I was done recording for the night. And instead of recording, I EV trained up that shiny Crab Abominable, or that Crab Rawler, and evolved them in the Crab Abominables. Ooh, speaking of that, before I go, I actually do need to name Crab Rawler. Otherwise, he's not even a legal Pokemon. So, uh, you had to swap out the team a little bit, too. Is I decided Altaria, I was forcing that thing to stay in. And Altaria might have a... A spot here for the dragon type but for the ice types here it's really struggling so give me one second all right crab abominable is officially named so it's a legal use for the nuzlocke named it after a character from another game i'm currently working on so you ready for a challenge you bet i'm ready for a challenge let's go what do you got thinking of challenging drayton are you you'd only be wasting his time don't even dream of it you are, dude. All you are is a league club member, Sam of the elite. Uh, or sorry, the league club. You look like a scrawny nerdy D. Like your uh, your your arms are so scrawny, I'd drop you if this was a different game. All right, so what do we have here? A lowland sand slash and dugong. Um, hmm. I say let's go mystical fire on sand slash. And just try to, like, take that thing out instantly. As for you, let's go drill run on the dugong. There we go. Preemptive strike first, man. Yeah, look at that. Knockout. That's one of four. Toast. Gone. Wiped off the map. Muddy water. And check it out. Bam. Focus sash. I would not have started with you. Especially because Dugong, oh man, don't tell me Dugong's got that, yeah, he's going to have that ability. He's going to be healing himself in the snow. Ice body, I, I forgot what the name was for a second. <laughs> yeah, so that was basically useless. Right on you being out here was totally not worth it in any way. Alright, what do you got next? Lapras comes out next, huh? You got a Lapras on your side. Alright, let's go light screen. And I swapped out light screen for reflect, and I'm glad I did that. Let's let's get Bear Tick out here. Who do I want to go? Let me clear my throat really quickly. Uh, do I focus on Lapras, the tanky one? 
Or do I focus on Dugong? Let's see what Dugong's got. He's just dropping muddy waters, trying to lower that accuracy. And he gets it. So, Lapras, what are you doing? Surf? Okay. Well, definitely glad that I have uh, that light screen up now. All right, so you've got Ice Body. You're going to be healing as I'm attacking you. I'm healing because of my leftovers. Let's try... You know what? I've got an idea. I, I think I know exactly where I'm going with this. Let's go Moon Blast and try to lower your special attack and make you pretty much useless. And then let's Brick Break you and see what happens here. Ooh, that's not a lot of damage, but I'm willing to accept that. Ooh, nice. I was going to say, don't don't fail to land it. Of course, I don't get the, the check I was hoping for. I was hoping for special attack down. Okay, so... Ice Body. Uh... Yeah, you know what I do? I think they're just... He's just... He switched to Blizzard instead. I, th I don't know why he was switched to Blizzard instead of Muddy Water, but... You have leftovers as well. Ooh, look at you go. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a healing item on... Gardevoir. That's one of my healing items. And I'm gonna use Rest on Beartick. So here's this. And then Rest should go first because I have whatever the heck my ability's name is. Basically, I go faster in the snow. I can't remember what it's called. I don't remember. Whatever the name of it is. I think it's... it's I think it's like... Uh, I can't remember. It has, it's a, it, The name has something to do with snow. Like, it has something to do with the snow. I just don't remember the name. Snowscape? What What for? Are you... What, what's going on over there, Dugong? What are you guys doing? You. <laughs> this guy's an elite trainer? I'm sorry. What? Did I miss something? What do you mean you're elite? You don't look very elite to me. Alright, so Lapras healing up. Um, I wonder if I can... Let's moon blast him one more time, and I'm thinking I'm going to try to moon blast um, Dugong and try to lower his special attack while I'm at it. Let's just knock the Lapras out, I guess. I thought you were going to live, honestly. All right, so Lapras is gone, got two left, and one of them, yeah, du Dugong's broke. I don't know what happened. He's malfunctioned over there. He should be dropping muddy waters, but he broke. Maybe he doesn't know it's snowing, and he's just caught in an infinite loop. All right, so is my light screen over? No, it's not. We're still good. Moon Blast on Lantern and Brick Break on... Let's go Brick Break on Lantern because I don't know what he's got. But I want to take him out quickly because the Dugong seems to be a little broken here. Ooh, Citrus Berry, huh? How come I don't get these checks, man? I, I can lower your special attack if this Moon Blast would work with me. Thunder Wave, that makes things a little annoying. Um, but I'm still at full health, so I don't have to worry about swapping out or anything. Alright, what do you got? Dugong uses Muddy Water, and I dodge the attack. That's, that's good. I mean, Ice Body, yeah, you can go back to full health all you want. You seem to be having problems. Alright, so there's the, the light screen. Let's take that light screen back up immediately. And Brick Break is probably my best bet on Lantern because uh, the, icicle, the Icicle Crash may be stabbed, but it's just it's not going to be doing much. You and your Thunder Wave. That's, uh, that's pretty annoying, actually. All right. Get the light screen. I do... Okay, so he's broken. Please don't be paralyzed. I do need you to drop that... Oh, my God. I was going to say, I need you to drop the light screen. They're going to be attacking. You really need to get that light screen up. All right, so he's back to... Oh, I was going to say he's almost full health. Light screen... Brick break, and let's see what happens now. Dugong's using protect. <laughs> All right, he's broken. Oh, I was going to say, did I accidentally attack him? No, you did. All right, brick break in the face, and light screen. Oh, my God. All right, well, I guess I'm paying for getting, getting those thunder waves. All right, so... This one should be cut and dry. I'm going to get this in the bag right away. I just think uh, I'm paralyzed, so this is annoying. I really want you to get that light screen, just so I don't have anything to worry about. So, Lantern, you are objectively deciding to make my life miserable and annoying. I don't like you for that, and I'm going to use my second healing item here on... There's a blizzard on, uh, on Bear Tick in a sec. If you had been dropping those, I would be in trouble, man. I can't get this light screen up. You're done. <laughs> Man, if you were dropping muddy water and blizzard while I don't have a light screen, you, I'd be in trouble right now. 
Oh my god, dude. Seriously? At this point, I say, you know what? Let's just forget the whole light screen thing. Now he's down to just Dugong. At this point, you waited too long. You got paralyzed over and over and over, so just freaking attack him. Take out the Dugong, and that's, uh, this, this elite trainer is, it, it, <laughs> at least you're dodging things. This elite trainer didn't exactly impress me with, uh, how elite he was. Don't hurt yourself. There you go. I was gonna say, just in case, I don't think 45, I might actually, I, I'd get close to killing myself if I, if I were to punch myself in the face. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's finish this one up. This is the first time I think I was considering... I'm considering not leaving this in the recording, but honestly, I don't want to look like I didn't battle the League Trainers, so in those regards, let me heal you up this way. <laughs> Final healing item, not that it matters, because he's just down to a dugong. That actually could have been dangerous, because um, if he was using... Well, no, I guess Muddy Water, he did use it. I was going to say, um, he could have been... Yeah, he could have been hurting my accuracy checks here, and... And he could have been healing his uh, his teammate, but no, that didn't work. Nice. All right, so your your plan was to be healing with Snowscape. Sam of the League Club, man, you were you were not very good. Or er, never mind, go right ahead. Yeah, that's what I thought, big guy. Shove it, man. You got nothing. You suck. Unfortunately for me, I did commit to surviving more than. Uh, more than just run back and heal. So I will not be healing that team. And I will see you at the next trainer. That's not good. Dude, another league trainer. I mean, I, I could heal. I'm right there. But I committed to this, man. I've got to become one of the elite four of the BB League. So my dream can at last come true. Um, earlier, I did give myself permission. I think it was in the last biome. Oh, it's another one of these floor. Um, it's one of these demonic possession smiles. In fact, I think it was... No, I can't remember. There was a... Ooh, Meowstic and Magnazone. Interesting. I, uh, I committed to not, not healing, but at the same time, I've given myself permission already once to, to heal anyways. So, you guys are special attackers. Um, I say we brick break you in the face. You use light screen, so I'm gonna I'm gonna lay on the physicals, man. I know I just used flash cannon, but let's break that uh, that light screen off of you and uh, and commit to physical attacks. Or I mean, you know, you know, just you know, I was gonna switch you out, but yeah, as long as I have brick break and I'm in the snow, and you and your items, man, you and your items. All right, that citrus berry gives you a stay of execution. There's my attacks. What do you have? Thunder wave. God, you you just you're committed to being annoying. Everyone's got to go for the paralysis. I'm going to start going for the paralysis. I think that's what I'm going to do. And you have leftovers? Wow. Okay, so... All right, I guess uh, let's do this. Um, go for Draco Meteor and rock this thing. He's only got three Pokemon. So she's... Fleur, you've only got three. All right, light screen. And I'm no longer going to go first. It's Slush Rush, by the way. Oh, my God. I even missed just a boot. All right, well... Thunder Wave, uh, of course you would be doing this, man. Uh, I wish I had a, uh, instead of a Chesto Berry, a Cherry Berry at this point. Brick Break in the face, goodbye Light Screen. Doesn't matter, you're going to drop another Light Screen, but I guess I guess the good news is, is Meowstic is busy. <laughs> Meowstic has other things to worry about at the moment. But now Magnazone is going to be using like Gyro Ball, and actually I need to watch out for that Gyro Ball if you do have it. Um, attack and attack and attack again, man. Psychic? I guess you, you're done with that, huh? All right. Well, if you use body press, that's what I was worried about. Oh, lives barely. Lives barely. Get it? Barely? Dude, that was close. That crit is for throwing that stupid paralysis on me on both of these guys. And you deserve that 100%. Please hit the Draco Meteor. Yes. And down you go. Whoever's left, you have no chance in the world. Unless you have a Rayquaza, it's two on one. This is your last Pokemon. Caesar? Oh, yeah, you're dead. Thousand percent, you're dead. Uh, let's go... Uh, let's go Iron Defense just to be sure, and then swap out to... Uh, who do I want to go to? Actually, don't even swap out. 
I know that a... Uh, oh, no, because a bullet punch is probably going to destroy you, so... Um, let's go to... Uh, actually, I've got a lot of ice types here. Let's go to... Bug might kill you. Ooh, this is not good. Full restore, and let's just see. I'm going to full restore you if a bullet punch can kill Bear Tick or not. I uh, obviously steel is suddenly a concern, just like in the last in the last elite battle. Let's see, bullet punch does it kill? It's only got an attack. Yeah, I was gonna say it's got an attack of forty, dude. All right, here's an iron defense for you. And then now that your defense is not anything to worry about, let's uh, let's go and attack Caesar. And use my last... No, don't use my last healing item. I know you're going for bullet punch, so let's go to Atreus. Atreus, come out, eat a bullet punch, and then we'll figure out where we're going from there. Because then bug moves are going to kill you, so I can just keep... I can play around with swapping, but I eventually need to go to bullet punch. I do need to... You know what? I need to go to Raven. That's what I need to do, but... Does nothing, of course. I Plus, I already... Uh, oh, this, this, this is not very good, dude. All right, swap you out, and let's go to the bug fairy. T I mean, the, the psychic fairy type. So you're going to use a bug move. I don't know why I bothered, honestly. I just realized I'm going to somebody that's going to be weak to this. So I, you're weak to you're, pounds. Okay. Um, you're weak to everything. So speed may be down. Here's my question, paralyzed. I need to get that mystical fire off. And right now, a bullet punch is probably going to do some massive damage. So, um... Here's what I need to do. I'm going to heal you up. And we're going to... I take it back. I, I went backwards on that. Flash cannon. I know it's just very little minimal damage. In fact, you know what? Swap you out. Um, let's go to somebody who can do it. We're going we're gonna to deal with business here. Um, no, no, no. Don't do that, actually. Yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> I, I, I have to be worried because I didn't realize steel is so dangerous to me right now. And then my final healing item on Magical Raven. Let's see. Gardevoir, can you take it? Gardevoir, can you hold this off? It's a physical move and its base power is 40. You may be, it may be super effective to you, but you are level 87. So you should be able to hold this off. And then I can use a protect, bait it out, and kill this thing. You just have to tank one attack. Bullet punch. Oh, that was a nasty hit. For just a second, I was like, please don't go all the way down. We're good. All right, so now here's what's going to happen here. Um, let's go. Let's go thunder punch and try to possibly paralyze you. And let's get protect out. If, it, if not for bullet punch, I would definitely be able to take this Caesar down. No problem, because... Uh, I would outspeed him, but I unfortunately don't have that luxury. So Atreus, I think, uh, I, I got to see how a Atreus did with it. Please paralyze. That was a crit. Paralyze? No, no paralyze. Raven for the double protect, but that would get you killed. Um, let's go close combat and finish him off. And Typhon, you got to eat a bullet punch, and that shouldn't be a problem for you. That should be anything but a problem. It probably won't even do anything. That was uh that was kind of sketchy. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was that was pretty sketchy. One Pokemon as Caesar with bullet punch and half my team being weak to steal. There we go. Goodbye, Caesar, and I have earned myself a heal. Floor of the League Club. Goodbye. You only brought three Pokemon. If you brought four, I'd be in deep trouble. This is going to make my rank go down, not up. Yeah, well, hey, sucks to suck. There are 9 billion people on the planet. 8.9 of them pretty much suck. Sorry. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. I will heal, and then let's go. Actually, I think this episode's long enough. What do you got? You look, yeah, okay, well, how many people have I battled? Do you go, I want to know, do you go biome by biome, or do you do the whole thing at once? Hey there, exchange student, your friendly neighborhood guidance counselor here. Hope it doesn't feel too invasive for me to ask. Are you keeping up with your Pokemon battles? Here at Blueberry Academy, we try to get the students excited to battle each other. We try to promote, instead of growth from within, we try to promote competition. 
which means I'll give you BP for battling students here. The more battles, the more BP. So why don't you try to defeat five students here in the polar biome? I probably already have. So far, you've defeated six. I will leave four for the next episode. Wow, great job. Look at you being all proactive about finding other students to battle. Here's some BP for you. A reward for all that hard work. All right, well, thank you for that. Uh, and a bonus. I was going to say, something good. Breaking Swipe. I think I just found Breaking Swipe. If you do go and get yourself even more wins, I'll give you another reward. All right, so off screen, I'm going to run over and get the other area's rewards. I didn't find their people. I don't know where the guidance counselor was over there. I found them in the Savannah area, but that was the only one I did. So this episode's long enough. I did not get to a chance to do an elite battle, so I wanted to just do one, two, three, four, go, go, go. That's not going to happen this time, so uh, I will see you guys in the next one for Drayton. Thank you for watching. You guys take care. Farewell. And I really hope I'm doing a good job making this entertaining, man. I hope you guys like this. Catch you next time. Mm -hmm.